विच आर्टरी इज मोस्ट कॉमनली यूज टू चेक द पल्स इन एडल्ट ऑप्शन सा कैरोटिड आर्टरी रेडियल आर्टरी फिमोरल आर्टरी और ब्रैकियल आर्टरी द करेक्ट आंसर इज बी दैट इज रेडियल आर्टरी द रेडियल आर्टरी लोकेटेड ऑन द रिस्ट विच इज कॉमनली यूज बिकॉज इट इज इजीली एक्सेसिबल एंड गिवस एन एक्यूरेट पल्स रीडिंग क्वेश्चन नंबर टू वॉट इज द नॉर्मल रेस्टिंग पल्स रेट फॉर एडल्ट ऑप्शन सा 40 to 60 beats per minute 60 to 100 beats per minute 100 to 120 beats per minute or 120 to 140 beats per minute the correct answer is b that is 60 to 100 beats per minute A typical resting heart rate in adults ranges from 60 to 100 beats per minute indicating a healthy heart rate at rest. Question number 3 Where is the carotid pulse located? Your options are wrist, neck, ankle or elbow. the correct answer is b that is neck the carotid artery is located in the neck and it is often checked in emergencies to assess circulations quickly question number 4 which pulse site is located behind the knee your options are radial pulse popliteal pulse femoral pulse or dorsalis pedis pulse and the correct answer is b that is popliteal pulse the popliteal pulse is located behind the knee and can be felt when the leg is slightly bent right so question number 5 for you what term describes a pulse rate over 100 beats per minute Your options are bradycardia, tachycardia, hypotension, or hypertension. The correct answer of this question is tachycardia. The tachycardia refers to a heart rate that exceeds the normal resting rate of over hundred beats per minute. Question number six. Hello, friends. Welcome back to Dear Competitive Exam YouTube channel. Today, you are attending hundred most repeated and most important question answer session based on human pulse, and this is the part one of this series. So, let's challenge your quality of learning. Let's see what will be your score out of fifty from this part one. So, do watch this video completely. to make yourself more fit to answer any kind of questions and at the end if you find this video helpful then please do like subscribe and share this video to all your friends who are preparing for upcoming any kinds of medical exams let's continue question number 6 a slow pulse rate is referred to as the options are hypotension hypertension tachycardia or bradycardia the correct answer is d that is bradycardia bradycardia is defined as a slower than normal heart rate typically less than 60 beats per minute in adults question number 7 for you what pulse site is commonly used in infants Your options are radial pulse, carotid pulse, brachial pulse, or dorsalis pedis pulse. 
The correct answer is C that is brachial pulse. The brachial pulse located in the upper arm is commonly checked in infants as it is easier to locate. Question number 8. Which of the following does not affect pulse rate? The options are exercise, fever, emotions or hair color. The correct answer is D that is hair color. Factors like exercise, fever and emotions can increase or decrease the pulse rate. But our hair color has no effect on it. Question number 9. The dorsalis pedis pulse is located. The options are in the neck, on the top of the foot, in the groin or at the wrist. The correct answer is B that is on the top of the foot. The dorsalis pedis pulse is found on the top of the foot near the base of the toes and it is used to assess blood flow to the feet. Question number 10. What is considered a normal pulse rate for a newborn? The options are 80 to 100 beats per minute, 120 to 160 beats per minute or 180 to 200 beats per minute. The correct answer is C that is 120 to 160 beats per minute. The newborns typically have a much faster pulse rate compared to adults ranging between 120 to 160 beats per minute. Question number 11. Which condition is characterized by an irregular pulse rhythm? Your options are bradycardia, tachycardia, arrhythmia or hypertension. The correct answer is C that is arrhythmia. Arrhythmia refers to an irregular heartbeat or pulse where the rhythm is not steady. Question number 12. The pulse at the groin is called as radial pulse, femoral pulse, popliteal pulse or temporal pulse. The correct answer is B that is femoral pulse. The femoral pulse is located in the groin area and it is checked to assess the circulation to the lower body. Question number 13. What is pulse oximetry primarily used to measure? The options are heart rate, blood pressure, oxygen saturation or respiratory rate. Correct answer is C that is oxygen saturation. Pulse oximetry measures the oxygen saturation levels in the blood, often using a device placed on the finger. Question number 14. Which of the following increases pulse rate? Options are hypothermia, sleeping, fever, or relaxation. The correct answer is C that is fever. Fever causes the body's metabolism to increase which in turn raises the heart rate to meet the body's increased demand for oxygen. Question number 15. Which site is best for assessing pulse in an unconscious adult? Your options are radial artery, carotid artery, brachial artery or 
डोरसेलिस पेडिस आर्टरी द करेक्ट आंसर इज बी दट इज कैरोटिड आर्टरी द कैरोटिड आर्टरी लोकेटेड इन द नेक विच इज प्रिफर्ड इन एमरजेंसीज बिकॉज इट प्रोवाइड्स अ स्ट्रॉन्ग एंड एक्सेसिबल पल्स क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्सटीन वट डज अ वीक एंड थ्री डी पल्स इंडिकेट ऑप्शन सर नॉर्मल ब्लड प्रेशर हाई ब्लड प्रेशर लो ब्लड प्रेशर और एलिवेटेड ऑक्सीजन लेवल्स द करेक्ट आंसर इज सी दट इज लो ब्लड प्रेशर a weak and thready pulse often indicates the low blood pressure and poor circulation signaling that the heart is not pumping efficiently question number 17 which of the following is not a pulse site your options are radial artery ulnar artery tibial artery or renal artery the correct answer is d that is renal artery the renal artery supplies blood to the kidneys but it is not a site where the pulse is typically checked question number 18 which factor does not usually decrease pulse rate the options are deep sleep hypothermia stress or physical inactivity correct answer is c that is stress stress typically increases pulse rate as body responds to the fight or flight mechanism unlike sleep and relaxation which slow it down question number 19 a bounding pulse is usually associated with the option sir dehydration anxiety low blood pressure or high blood pressure the correct answer is d that is high blood pressure a bounding pulse feels strong and full and is commonly seen in individuals with high blood pressure or during episodes of excitement or exercise question number 20 which of the following might lead to an increase in pulse rate your options are cold weather hypoxia meditation or fasting the correct answer is b that is hypoxia hypoxia a lack of oxygen in the tissues can cause the body to compensate by increasing the heart rate to deliver more oxygen to vital organs question number 21 the apical pulse is measured at the your options are wrist ankle chest or neck the correct answer is c that is chest the apical pulse is found at the apex of the heart located in the chest and is commonly used in infants and people with heart conditions question number 22 what is the primary purpose of the checking the pulse your options sir to determine respiratory rate to assess heart function to check blood sugar levels or to measure blood pressure the correct answer is b that is to assess heart function checking the pulse helps to determine the heart rate and rhythm which gives insight into how well the heart is functioning question number 23 what might a pulse deficit indicate the options are normal cardiac function blood pressure fluctuation heart arrhythmia or 
adequate oxygen levels? The correct answer is C that is heart arrhythmia. A pulse deficit occurs when the heart's contractions are not strong enough to produce a pulse at the peripheral sides, often indicating arrhythmia. Question number 24. Which pulse site is used for blood pressure measurements? Your options are radial, femoral, brachial or popliteal. The correct answer is C that is brachial. The brachial pulse located in the arm is commonly used when measuring blood pressure with a cuff. Question number 25th. What condition is likely if a person's pulse is consistently over 120 beats per minute at rest? Your options are normal health, bradycardia, tachycardia, or hypertension. The correct answer is. C that is tachycardia. Consistently elevated pulse rate above 120 beats per minute, especially at rest, can indicate tachycardia, which may require medical evaluations. Friends, it is a time to comment your score out of 25 questions. And friends, thanks for joining us on this exciting journey. If you enjoyed the quiz, and learn something new then give us a thumbs up and let us know in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on our upcoming exploration of fascinating topics in the medical field until the next time stay curious stay healthy see you take care